Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. In this case, Maya 2018. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a tile floor with marble inserts. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're in Maya 2018, and we're going to start by creating a polygon plane. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, create polygon primitives, polygon plane, option box. And my default is set to 10 by 10, but 5 by 5 is more than enough for this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to hit create, and that will create this plane right here. All right, I'm going to jump to my top view, and I am going to right click and go to vertex, and I'm going to drag select these inner vertices. So not the ones on the outside, only the inner ones. Now, keep in mind, if you want to make this a tileable object at some point, then you will need to uh, select these, uh, but I'm not going to go with that right now, okay? But just keep in mind that you can, okay? So with these selected, we're going to go to Edit Mesh and under Vertex to Chamfer Vertices. And as we do that, we get these diamond patterns. Now, what we can do is tweak the width if we want. And I don't want that right now. So I'm just going to leave them at uh, 0 0.25. That's fine. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is right click and go to edges. I'm going to drag select all the inner edges. And again, do not select the outer ones unless, once again, you want to make this tileable. So I got that selected. I'm going to go to edit mesh and bevel. And now I need to tweak that uh, fraction right there. And I want to go with it. 0.04 and once I do that and I'll just uh, give you a little bit of a close-up after zoom in you can see that we got this pattern going on here all right now what I want to do is I want to make this look like an actual tile floor so what we need is for the big faces right here these need to be elevated okay so we're gonna start by selecting them And make sure you don't select any faces in those edges, okay? So we've got these selected. We're going to select these as well. And like I said, be careful while you do that. And there we go. And we're going to hit Control e to extrude. What we're going to do is we're going to tweak the thickness, but we're also going to move the slider to keep face together off. Okay, let's tweak that thickness. Let's go with 0 0.04. And let's see how that looks. Bit thick, maybe. Let's do, actually, it was set to 1, looks like. 0 0.01, let's see, yeah. 0 0.005. That looks a little bit better. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do next is I'm going to uh, select the big faces and I'm gonna apply a material to that. And I'm gonna do that so I have a color ID mask. Once I take this into Keyshot, it's easy to swap out the materials, okay? So I'm going to right click, assign a new material. Let's do a Lambert and it doesn't really matter what color. So we'll just do yellow or something like that. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to select these little diamonds. And once again, be very careful when you do that. There we go. Right click, assign new material, another Lambert and I don't know, blue. Okay, so basically we have three materials going on here. We will have the yellow that will become something like a black stone. Then we'll have the blue squares here. We'll turn it into marble. And then the, um, the uh, spacing in between will have that look like concrete or something, okay? So I'm gonna right click at object mode. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go to file and export selection and I'm going to export that as an OBJ and I'll just uh, export selection, save it on my desktop. I'll call this uh, tile OBJ. Let's export that. And there you go. It's time to jump into Keyshot. Here we go. 
Okay guys, well we're in uh, Keyshot, Keyshot 6.3 Pro to be exact, but you should be able to do this in any uh, Keyshot version, okay? We're gonna go to File, Import, and I'm gonna import my Tile OBJ, and just gonna hit Import, and there we go. And you can see that it's all color tagged, if you will, color masked. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna change our background and our lighting a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go to our backdrop here. I'm gonna take the white one. Actually, I think it's default, so it's good. And our environment, uh, let's see. We're probably gonna change that, but I'm gonna go to interior and take this one for now. So once we start to apply materials, we have a bit of an idea what's going on, okay? So let's start with the, the main tiles that are yellow right now. We're gonna go to our material tab. Let's go and to the stone section. Let's look at granite, and we have the option to choose between procedural and uh, traditional. Let's go with the dark one, and that is the uh, granite black, okay? Let's bring that in and drop that on. As you can see, it's quite uh, impactful, I would almost say. So let's try another one. I'm trying to find something that looks cool. It's not doing it for me. Maybe this one. Now this one does have a pattern to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on it. We're going to go into textures and we're going to push that scale way, way, way down. And as we do that, you're starting to see that pattern. I mean, you can go all the way and then you'll overshoot it. But this looks about right okay so that's good uh, let's see if you go back to properties you can tweak the refraction index and for that I'll just tilt it a little bit you see that light source so if we push that refraction index back it'll become less reflective and you can push it back up if you want basically uh, depends on what you what you're going for this is very shiny all right Okay, so now that we have that, let's look at our blue tiles. So I want a more traditional white marble. So let's bring that in, something like this. And again, we need to look at the skill. So we're gonna go to textures and we're gonna push that skill way, way, way in until we start. Actually, I'm in the wrong material, my apologies. Double click on the white and there we go, textures. And you see a lot going on there. And basically it's looking for which one we want. This is kind of okay. We'll tweak the thickness of the veins a little bit. The vein noise, clean it up. I think that's about okay. Now, you can argue whether you find this an appealing floor to look at or not. Uh, I personally don't like it that much but it's about the technique not the floor so just to make sure it doesn't look completely horrible let's do something about this floor here okay so you just saw how you can do that I'm liking this a bit better I'm just gonna double click on this black right here let's uh, push that refraction index down a little bit so it's not as shiny that's yeah, pretty good and then basically we have one more texture to add and that is our concrete so we're going to zoom way 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 in and by now it looks like there are huge gaps between the tiles it's not too bad actually we're going to go into concrete we're going to take cement let's drop that in here we're going to double click on it and we can tweak the refraction index. We want that to be quite low, obviously, because we don't want that to be shiny. And we can play with that roughness if you like. And that can be quite rough. Now, depending on the color here, I mean, you can go into the diffuse color and change it if you like, um, but I think it's okay, right? So let's uh, zoom out. And there is your tile floor. You can see a very, very reflective. Let's uh, look at that lighting for a sec. And uh, let's see what we want. We can go to panels here. Let's try this, see how that looks. 
not too excited about that. So let's try something outdoor. Uh, door, here we go. Come on, outdoor, yep. Yeah, much better, all right. So this is what we're gonna go for, for our render. So let's uh, find a nice spot right there. Okay, we're gonna go to lighting, we're gonna go to full simulation, and then we're gonna go back in, and we are going to, let's see, turn off caustics, but we mainly need to turn off interior mode. And we'll actually turn back on caustics. All right, so then let's see what else. We're gonna go to our render tab, and we're gonna go to render. And we want a still image. We'll call this uh, floor final. And I'm just gonna save this on my desktop here. There we go. Uh, let's see, that's the good size. And my options, I'm gonna go with max uh, samples, 202, that's fine. And we're simply gonna hit render, here we go. Okay guys, there you have it. There's our final render. Um, Turned out okay, I think. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. If you don't wanna miss out on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please let me know, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.